Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel and today I will show you how to create a divergent chart like this uh, within the Tableau. So this chart is useful as you can see um, to view the positive and the negative side of your data. So for example, here I am using the same sample sales store data and uh, we want to create a divergent chart to look at the profit in which uh, customer segment or in which state you know we have positive profit and negative profit and then you know uh, make some sort of a decision out of it all right so how we can do that is so first of all what we need is the measure which has both positive and negative value for example the profit where the profit is positive and negative so what I'll do is I will take the profit and put it here on the columns, all right? And then I will take two dimensions. Maybe let's say first is segment and uh, second is, let's say, for the state. All right. As soon as I put it, as you can see, I have the divergent bar chart. Now it is not similar to what I am showing it over here. Well, two reasons. First thing is, Right now, I'm showing all the three segments. So what I'll do is I will just put a filter on segment and let's say I'll just show one segment, which is uh, consumer. And now if I just filter it like this, I have my divergent chart. Now I want, I can go ahead and uh, pick another customer segment. Let's say corporate. I want to see, and here is my corporate segment. Similarly, if I want and there is a good space and not so many values, I can check all of these three. And now all of these three is neighbored for me. Also, if I want, I can remove this entire view to standard. And this is kind of a standard view. I can scroll it down and uh, see it in action about where the sales are uh, problematic. For example, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Ohio right for for a segment so for a home office you know the sales are comparatively very low and uh, these states are really uh, are problematic so that's about how you can create it uh, the the divergent chart but uh, instead of state let's say you want uh, even the customer name you can see the customer name who are who are giving you tough time or who are really profitable for you uh, if you want, uh, you can also look at the product category, for example. Uh, let me try it again. And uh, so this is not coming properly, but uh, probably product name is the right one where it has a lot of dimensions. Yeah. The values. So, so these, these since this has a lot of values, you are able to see both the sides. Otherwise, what it has happen in case of let's say category values are pretty less these values in the dimension are less and they are overlapping to each other so that's why they are getting aggregated and you are not able to see the chart but as soon as you are taking a something like a product name you are able to see both the sides of the chart so that's about how you can create it but this is a very very basic way about uh, how you can create it there is a lot of advancement like uh, um, say for example uh, you want to compare both the segment, let's say consumer and corporate segment on the same axis for the same product. How would you do that? So that's that's kind of a little tricky where you need to work on, uh, uh, you work around a bit with the calculated dimensions and a lot of settings where within mass and all. Probably I'll show you uh, once I will have some ready example for you. But uh, uh, that's that's another way about how you can create it a divergent chart where on the same axis you are seeing both the values say for example 3.6 cubic foot counter uh, how its uh, uh, value or the profit is in both the segment consumer and corporate i hope you get an idea what i'm talking about so i will show you that maybe some, in some future video but till then stay tuned i will post new video uh, as soon as possible